My name is Willie Farrell. I'm a senior software engineer at IBM, working for the Developer Skills team. This demo is the first in a nine-part series that supplements the DeveloperWorks Live Briefing, Architecture, Design, and Construction using the IBM Rational Software Delivery Platform. In this series, you will see the demos that are performed as part of the live presentation of that briefing. In this demo, I'll show you where you can download a trial version of IBM Rational Software Architect and where you can download the files you'll need for the demos. I'll then show you how to install Rational Software Architect and set it up so that you're all ready to perform the demos. You can go to the DeveloperWorks download website at the URL shown here to get a trial version of IBM Rational Software Architect. Once you get to the DeveloperWorks download page, scroll down and click the link to take you to Rational Software Architect. On the Rational Software Architect trial page, scroll down and click the link to download the trial. Then click Multi-Platform. You'll need to sign in with your IBM ID. Type in your ID and password, then click Submit. Select the radio button here, and click Continue. Check the box to accept the license agreement and click the button to confirm. On the download page, scroll down and select all files to be downloaded. Then scroll down and click Download Now. Download all the files to the same folder on your computer. Next, go to the web page for the briefing at the URL shown here. Scroll down and click the link to download the demo file zip file. Save the file to a folder on your computer. On my computer, I save the file to the desktop. With everything downloaded, unzip all the Rational Software Architect download files into a folder on your computer. On my computer, I unzip them to the folder named RSA install. Don't unzip the demo file zip file. We'll import the entire contents of that file into Rational Software Architect a bit later. Navigate into the Disk 1 folder in the Install folder and double-click Launchpad.exe to start the install. Now click the link to install IBM Rational Software Architect. First, IBM Installation Manager will be installed. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. And click Next. Accept the default installation folder and click Next. Click Install to begin the installation. Once Installation Manager has installed, click Finish. Now IBM Installation Manager will start to complete the installation of Rational Software Architect. There's only one package to install, so click Next. Accept the license agreement and click Next. Accept the default directory for shared resources by clicking Next. Accept the default installation directory for this package by clicking Next. When installing one of Rational's Eclipse-based products, you can use the version of Eclipse bundled with the package, which is the default, or install the product into an existing instance of Eclipse. Accept the default here by clicking Next. Select the language support you need and click Next. Here you can select the features you want to install. The features installed by default are all that are needed for the demos. If you want to install additional features, go right ahead, but make sure that at least the default features are installed. Once you have selected the desired features, click Next. Then click Install to begin the installation. Installation will take several minutes. When installation is complete, click Finish. Rational Software Architect will be started. Select the folder on your system to contain the workspace. You can accept the default if you'd like. I prefer to put the workspace someplace easier for me to remember. Once you've selected the workspace, click OK. Close the Welcome view by clicking the X on the tab. Now we want to enable all of the capabilities of the installed features. This is done in Preferences. Select the Window menu and select Preferences. K 
capabilities are in the general preferences. So expand general and select capabilities. Then click enable all and click OK. Now we'll import the demo files that you downloaded from the briefing web page. Select file and select import. Expand other and select project interchange. Then click next. You can use the browse button to navigate to where you save the demo files zip file. I saved the demo files to my desktop so I'll navigate there. Once you've navigated to where the file was saved, select it and click Open. We want all of the projects, so click Select All and click Finish. It will take a few moments to import the demo files. Watch the status messages in the lower right corner. Wait until there are no more status messages before moving to the next step. Now we want to open the web perspective. Select Window and select Open Perspective. Then select Web. Once the Web Perspective has opened, select the Servers tab. We want to change the Test Environment Server to make it more compatible with firewalls. Double-click the Test Environment Server to open its Configuration Editor. Then scroll down to see the Server Connection Type and Admin Port. Select the SOAP Radio button and press Control S to save the changed configuration. Close the configuration editor by clicking the X on the tab. Now we'll move the server configuration information into our workspace. This will make it easier to reset the environment once we finish the demos. Right click on the server and select Move to Workspace. Again, watch the messages in the lower right and wait to proceed until there are no more messages. Now we can start the server. Right click the server and select start. Wait for the server to complete starting before continuing. The console view displays informational messages during server startup. Once the server is started, we need to indicate the projects we want to run on the server. So select the servers tab, right click the server, and select add and remove projects. We want both of these projects added to the server, so click Add All and click Finish. Wait for the state of the server to change from Publishing to Synchronized before continuing. The last step is to open the modeling perspective to be ready to perform the first demo. Select Window, select Open Perspective, and select Other. Now select Modeling and click OK. That completes the setup, and you're now ready to do the first demo. For additional resources, visit the following URLs.